Hello and welcome to Livewire's Buy, Hold, Sell. I'm Matthew Kidman and today we're going to have a look at the companies that delivered very, very solid results in the latest company reporting season. And to talk about these companies, we have David Wilson from First Sentia. Welcome, David. Michael Wayne from Medallion Financial. David, I'll start with you. Big end of town, Australia's biggest company. Very high Everest-like valuations, but managed to put in a good result. Commonwealth Bank, buy, hold, sell. It's a hold. Uh, I get the high valuations, but this is 15% Ronters. This is 5% EPS growth. Um, great balance sheet. Um, just a consistent deliverer of earnings. So it's a hold for us. Everyone in Australia owns this company, I would think. It's in everyone's portfolio. It's been terrific. Commonwealth Bank, buy, hold or sell? Hold. Uh, very expensive, but it's really a cornerstone for a lot of people's portfolios and they are very much ahead of the other big four banks in terms of their investment in technology. Um, so we expect them to keep muddling along without expanding that multiple any further. So we're not scared about that one. Let's go down to where you really like high growth technology, platforms, financial, Hub24, buy, hold or sell. Going hold on Hub24, it's one that we actually missed and have watched with envy as it's sort of ground higher. Uh, it's a business that continues to grow its assets under administration, its margins continue to expand, and we expect those margins to continue to expand in the next couple of years. Our question marks are over the long term. Um, as fee compression continues within the industry, it's going to be more and more difficult for these businesses. But in the next you know, little period, it's going to be okay for them to hold. All I've ever heard over the last five, six years, platforms, financial expensive, keep going up. Hub24, buy, hold or sell. For us, it's still a buy. Um, as Michael said, the margins are still going up. They've actually sort of been a bit sort of flat for a while, but we think they're going to accelerate over the next little while. Andrew Alcock and the team have done a great job there, and, um, and we continue to expect them to take market share from the incumbents. So for us, it's a buy. Okay, let's, let's get over to the Northwest Shelf. Oil and gas, Woodside Energy. Good result, not a, not a big response. Buy, hold or sell? For us, it's a sell. Um, we were not that impressed with the acquisitions that they announced recently. They still need to convince the market on the merits of what they've done in, in, in Texas there. The rest of the business is, is performing solidly. It's got well supported by a dividend yield, but for us, it's a sell. Been tough market for oil and gas, Michael, but Woodside, very solid result. Few acquisitions. Can you give us a buy, hold or sell? Sell. In relative terms, we think there are better alternatives in the energy space. Um, Woodside, very low cost, very high quality assets, but where's the growth going to come from? Um, the dividends are pushing towards the upper end of that payout ratio. There's a couple of assets that they're looking to sell, which will allow them to maintain that dividend. But energy companies, resource companies for dividend plays, we're not so sure, prefer others in the area. So keep that sell. Okay, now you can relax a bit and get a bit excited. Give us a pick on something that did have a great result and is going to go higher on the back of it. Light and Wonder, LNW. That's great a name. Great name. It's a, a new name on an old business, um, but effectively it's competing very strongly up against Aristocrat, continues to win market share in Australia, mainly from their land-based gaming, but their, their eye gaming as well is something that potentially has a lot of growth for them into the future. They've got a couple of new games in the market that are really taking off and have them growing above system growth. So that's a business that we think reported very well and we'll kick it onwards and upwards into the stratosphere. David, I, I got the feeling you're not gonna have a name anywhere near as exciting as that, but I think you've got a stock for us that reported nicely, but didn't get the reaction straight away. No, that's right. So our, our stock is AUB. Um, that's right. It, there you go. <laughs> but it was actually, it gave um, double digit guidance. It's really sort of refining its UK strategy. It's result again, sort of beat expectations slightly. And um, we expect it actually to upgrade you know, guidance through the year. We also like Light and Wonder as well. We have a slight preference for Aristocrat, but the answer to your question, AUB. I can't believe I got three stocks out of you. You're only supposed to give us one. There you go. But Pay rise. Always, back that, <laughs> always back that portfolio. So if you like that show as much as me, give it a like. And also, don't forget, if you want this kind of content, which we all need in markets, don't forget to subscribe to YouTube and have a listen to our podcast.